Good morning everyone, Sam here. And Angela, and welcome to our channel. I say good morning because we just arrived back on a North Carolina property. It is not even eight o'clock yet. We are here for a very exciting special day, which is our house move. So everything's done in the house. I got the GoPros mounted. We did a one last check of everything. And then we actually put metal strapping over the doors on the outside so that they don't fly open down the road, just as a preventative measure. Now we just wait for the crew to arrive and then get to film and watch them do the hard work. I think that's it. We're at the point where uh, they've got all their equipment, they're moving their stuff out of the way, and I think we're about to see the house pulled out.
uh, not the way I thought they were going to take it. Very interesting.
am totally in shock at how they're taking it down and that my house is at like a degree angle that I never thought I would see. Not many people can say that. <laughs> but I am praying the whole way that everything is good and fine and it'll be good and fine. Hey, if it can survive going down this hill like this, road trip, no problem. Seriously. No problem. Praise the Lord that it made it down in one piece. It did. And uh, yeah, so them taking it down the hill was not known to us at all. But as they were about halfway down the hill, we got a call from the mover, the head guy. He said, hey, just how's it going? Checking in. I said, well, it's going good. Uh, they're taking it straight down the hill, though. <laughs> he said, yeah, we talked about it and figured that would be the safest way. So 
they all knew. They just didn't tell us. <laughs> Until it kept backing up and backing up and wait yeah. a second. <laughs> I'm like, maybe they're going to turn it. No, no, it, they're not turning it. Okay. <laughs> but that was awesome. I mean, it was no problems. I guess one of the main benefits with that too is we don't have to worry about the house flexing as it was trying to go down the curves and stuff like that too. Maybe. I think they figured a straight shot was safer than trying to turn and curve down our driveway. True. Which is probably the same thing you said. Yeah. So. Well, that is it for North Carolina. So let's hop up into the Jeep and let's load up and see if we can catch up with this thing on the road, which shouldn't be difficult at all because <laughs> they've backed it out the road and they've got to go, I think, a mile or two backwards. And then they're going to stop and take off the Jade, which is the four-wheel carriage thing that's on the back of the house and they're gonna put some more axles on so we probably got a little bit of time to kill but we can at least go watch yeah let's go There's a house coming right for us. Ah, they're going the wrong way. Ah. So in the white car that's in front of this, there's a guy in the back of it watching and he's driving the Jade, which is the little four wheeled thing. So it helps it get around the curves a lot easier. He's using a little remote driving it. Slow down, you're going too fast. Ah! <laughs> I actually tell her that a lot whenever she drives. <laughs> well, we are going less than five miles per hour, so. I might be comfortable at this speed. Three miles per hour. So they pulled the house over at, this is kind of a place where they can park semi trucks if they need to. It's on the side of the, I mean, it's a highway, but it's not a highway highway. Um, they got the house pulled over here. What they're doing now is taking off the Jade, J-A-D-D-E. -D -D -E. It's the little carriage thing that helps steer the house. They're taking it off and they're going to put the rest of the axles under the house. I also saw one of the trucks go that way back towards the property. I guess they're going to load up the other equipment and get stuff cleaned up out there. We're gonna stick with the house and wait for them to get the axles on it and then hit the road. And we'll follow them for a little ways, but there will be a point where we just decide to peel off and go the back way where they're probably gonna stick straight to the interstate. That way we can get home quicker, we can get everything ready there at the property and watch for the arrival then.
So it's really cool watching as we're following behind the house that it just looks like a giant shed rolling down the road. There's no great pomp and circumstance. There's nothing awesome happening. It's actually pretty boring to watch. But I think in this case, that's probably the best thing we would want is a boring, uneventful following of our home across the mountains and into Tennessee. So, just uh, something I'm thinking as we're driving 35 going up the mountains and about 55 to 60 going down. As you can see, I'm no longer driving. Angela's at the helm. We peeled off and we split off from the house. So they're taking the home on some major interstates from point A to point B, the long way. We are taking our normal scenic route that we enjoy taking. So we peeled off away from the house and we stopped and got lunch at an East Tennessee specialty little fast food place. I don't know if they're only in East Tennessee, but I believe they're originally from East Tennessee. It is called Pals, P-A-L apostrophe S. They've got some good food. It is a, a very, very, I won't say cheap, nothing's cheap nowadays, but like a burger for less than two bucks, french fries less than two bucks, stuff like that. So the boys are back there chowing down and uh, I may be as well, but otherwise we are headed towards Tennessee to Homestead Base Camp, Homestead 1. And we are hoping we get there before the house, which we should, and then we will uh, see the house be rolling in on the much flatter, much larger new homestead. We made it, and we beat the house. The house is not here yet. That was one thing we were genuinely a little bit concerned about as we drove. We're like trying to calculate in our heads how much farther would it be, and oh my gosh, did we, did we make it? Are we gonna be late? And Angela kept getting a little bit faster and faster <laughs> and faster. But we made it. No speeding we tickets. We weren't speeding. I mean, so hey, of course, yeah, we're good. Whatever. We're here. Let's get our stuff out and look for the house. As you can tell, there should not be any problems them delivering our home to this destination compared to where they had to take it down from. Uh, we just saw one of the trucks come by and do a 360 kind of turn around and go back. We're thinking that that was maybe a scout truck. They want to come see the area, probably drive these back roads and make sure, you know, go this way, don't go that way. And then they are probably pretty close. So we're all out here, kind of huddled around our parking area at the camper, waiting and just waiting for them to show up, I guess, at any second. We have been told that the plan, okay, the original plan, because I don't know, they may change it when they see it, is to bring the house um, from kind of what, I mean, I guess you could say it's a front yard, not to bring it on the driveway. But anybody that's watched our channel, you know that we did our additional driveway here and we did our whole turnaround back up towards the road there in the event that they needed to bring the house here. Hopefully they don't. Um, I mean, I don't know why I say that other than maybe smashing the gravel into oblivion. But after seeing it travel across the yard in North Carolina, I don't think it's gonna destroy the gravel. It's very, very dry out here. We've not had rain out here in probably five to six days, and it's a pretty firm base. So no matter which way they decide to bring the house, I think we're gonna be good. We have plenty of room for activities and lots of land for them to roam.
It's here! <laughs> I can't believe that our house is actually sitting here. It made it safe and sound and wow! Look at it, look, just look at it. <laughs> it looks very, very good over there. That's one thing we just said and I'm like, hang on, give the camera to Austin, turn it on. It looks really good sitting there. We've always, you know, thought and drawn it out on paper and planned that it would go there and look good, but. Nothing like the real thing. Right, very nice. I mean, as nice as an old, single wide can look it's looking it it's our sleeper house yeah there you go she got a turbo in it <laughs> nope just a new kitchen with some cabinets <laughs> Well, uh, how many hours later from when we, they started? 11 hours. 11 hours later, and the house is here. It is set, it is anchored, leveled, it is ready for the next step. They worked so hard and they did such a good job. They saw to every little detail and I am blown away. Yeah, you can definitely tell that the crew is a team and they all worked as a team because there was really no like hey what do i do or hey get to work it was just they were all all day just doing stuff very little communication but just everything just working like clockwork it was it amazing was. it was really cool i am totally amazed at having our house here and after it being on the hill in north carolina here it looks so tiny because it's on this huge piece of property and it looks good it does i think it fits really really well definitely our layout our plan yes two thumbs up rock on we planned yeah <laughs> we had months to plan the plan but hey the plan worked out like a plan it did and i love the fact that the house is much lower to the ground than it was in north carolina right in north carolina we walked up to the house we could not see the boys bedroom windows they were like I don't know, I want to say like this level. Here, they're just about eye level, if not a little bit below. 
It's really cool. Very cool. We still have plenty of room to get underneath, plenty of room for all of our utilities and everything to run, but it's just much nicer being a little bit lower to the ground. And we have a vapor barrier this time. We do. As you probably noticed, when they took the house apart, there was no plastic under there. We didn't know any better when we put the house there. No vapor barrier required. We didn't do it. Mm -mm. Well, here it's just automatic included and it's awesome. It I always is. regretted never having a vapor barrier in North Carolina. And I was thrilled whenever they just immediately said, yeah, house, blah, 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 plus it your vapor barrier. It. I'm like, sweet. Unfortunately, the day is coming to an end. Even though it was greatly successful, no one got hurt. The house is here. That's an amazing blessing. But that means you guys will have to wait until the next video to actually get to see inside it. And us really start to see, did the drywall explode? How did things inside the house fare? So... If you want to see, you've got to stick around for that. We're going to tease you with it because we're just horrible, mean people. <laughs> that and we're tired and we're ready to call it a night, too. We're ready, yeah, yeah. And it's dark. It's super dark. So, I'll let you do your outro, I guess. <laughs> well, thanks, guys, for coming along as we got our house moved to our Tennessee property. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, we will see you guys next time on our homestead. That's all right. See you guys. Bye.